What is the essence of science? Ask an impertinent question, and you are on the way to the pertinent answer. Do you like taking photos? When we take a group photo, we hope to get a photo that everyone can keep their eyes wide open, however, we always have to try several times before getting a blink-free photo. Wow. Therefore, have you ever wondered how many shots you mm -hmm. need to take to get a blink-free photo in a group of 5? Mm -hmm. How about group of 10? Uh. Nick Svensson and Piers Barnes conducted research on this question. First, we need to know why we blink. Blinking is a reflex, which means it happens mostly automatically. Blinking protects and maintains our eyes by generating a secretion. We blink approximately every three seconds, which provides the basis for our answering the question. According to several pre-research, they assume the average blink lasts about 250 milliseconds and a camera shutter stays open for about 8 milliseconds. If the blinks of different people are independent, we can try to model this question. The probability of one person spoiling a photo by blinking can be simplified as the expected number of blinks multiplied by the time during which the photo could be spoiled. In contrast, the probability of someone not blinking during the photograph is 1 minus x times t. Furthermore, we extend the formula to more people. For a good photo with no blinks, the probability is 1 minus x times t to the n where n is the number of people. Maybe you still feel confused about this formula, since we don't do mathematic problems while photographing. It doesn't matter, here is a rule of thumb, you can easily calculate the least number of photos required to take a blink-free photo. By dividing the number of people by 3. If the photo is taken in bad lighting, divide it by 2. Now, take out your camera and try it. Do you have any interesting science questions? Subscribe to us and find the answer.